30-year-old race car driver Ryan Vera picked up the sport a little late. He never drove carts as a kid and didn't find out of his love for racing until he was an adult. I learned in life that uh, nothing good comes from me and I need something challenging and racing absolutely took my heart and it just, boy, it's, it's hard. It's, it comes down to hundreds of seconds and inches and it's just, there's nothing like it. Like, I, I like racing more than girls now. Racing more than girls. Yeah. That's serious. That's serious. Corner, down one, two. Ryan built a racing room with a simulator in his Southwest Calgary apartment. It's a valuable tool for him as he's constantly practicing and taking notes on the tracks he's about to drive on. His ultimate career goal is a fairly obvious one as he wants to race in the Indianapolis 500, the most hallowed spot in the racing community. But he's still got a ways to go to get to compete at the Brickyard. 80% of open wheel racing at this level is off the track. You need to shake hands, you need to get sponsors, you need to, you know, have a rapport and build, build a good relationship with people and, you know, that's what we're going for. Between that and prize money, that's, that's how we get up the ranks and it is very difficult. Some of the best drivers in the world are sitting home at their couch. Coming up to the hardest breaking hairpin. Ryan hopes to one day start a racing school somewhere in or around the city. When you're in the racing community, you meet a lot of people and uh, I met a lot of cool guys. I had a Grand Am driver, an Indy car driver, a Petit Le Mans driver that uh, wants to work with us and we're developing plans. So we're going to bring top level drivers in and teach the average street driver, street racer, whatever, how to race safely. Ryan is very community minded and tries to get involved in as many charitable events as he can while he's home and not racing. I came from the city. I got to give back and um, that's one thing I learned in life, once you start giving back, life gives back to you. And it's almost like positive reinforcement. I mean, a lot of people have a heart, and if you're doing well, you have to give it back. It's, it's one of the rules in life. Right now, Ryan is recovering from laser eye surgery and nerve damage to his hands. He'll get back behind the wheel in mid-June in Sonoma, California, as he makes his way up the ladder on the road to Indy. Keith Brown, CTV Sports.